there besties let's go ahead and talk about this article from the new york post so i have a video waiting to get through uh youtube with regard to what what is her name amanda amanda seals has to say about um similarly the same thing kamala honestly because everybody mad at kamala why the blicks mad at kamala we did it joe why they mad at kamala okay Kamala's K-Hive, which I didn't even know was a thing, not that it even matters, trust me, it does not, goes off on Charlemagne. Kunamane won't tell the truth truth if it looks good for Democrats. This is as of March the 6th. Oh, I'm just hearing about this? Okay, okay. Well-known radio host Charlemagne the God has been very vocal about his disapproval of President Joe Biden's administration even before the 2020 presidential election, Charlemagne was pushing fans to consider MAGA and not vote Democrat. Oh my God, you trying to tell me that Charlemagne was trying to open some black women's eyes to kind of stop doing the same old, same old, to try to see outside of race, to, to try to see outside of your emotion? These people are just, were just pushing for Biden because of MAGA specifically. Like, it's not like they were naming out anything other than race and MAGA. That's all they was going for at the time. Biden and the Breakfast Club co-hosts have had a contentious relationship as evidenced by Charlemagne's infamous 2020 interview with the then presidential candidate Joe Biden, who told him, you ain't black if he didn't vote Democrat. So with all of the outrage that we see that black women have every day about the most foolish of things they're gonna act like that that wasn't problematic for the white man to sit up there and say if you don't vote for me you ain't black knowing daggone well if donald trump had said it it had been a big old to do it would have been a big old to do we probably would still be talking about it today because all that matters is race right everything is about race i don't know why they put that snake in the picture somebody is testing me somebody testing me anyway Charlemagne is also come at odds with uh vice president kamala harris back in 2021 when senator joe manchin democrat west virginia was holding up the passage of biden's far-reaching spending bill the build back better act during an interview with harris Charlemagne asked if manchin wasn't the real president Harris and Charlemagne had a tense exchange. Come on with the snakes. Come on. Somebody is really testing me. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president, Harris told Charlemagne during an interview on Charlemagne's late night program, The God's Honest Truth. Oh, okay. So Charlemagne has his own show. It's Joe Biden, Harris repeated. I'm vice and I'm vice president, and my name is Kamala Harris. Oh, she's sounding a little testy there with these comments, and I didn't hear it. I'm just going by what's written here. She sounded a little testy. Most recently, Charlemagne said many people would blame Biden for the failed student loan forgiveness program. This time, the K-Hive swarmed after Charlemagne found the crit criticism. Of course, of course they're going to go after him because how dare you go after Biden if he going to try to forgive my student loans? Because, you know, we the most educated and we got the student loan debt because it's not fair because it's racism that we had to take these loans. They're predatory. It's not fair. It's not even like we could read the fine print. It's not even like we know about predatory lending. It's not even like we didn't know what the rate was going to be. It's not like we didn't know that the term is going to be a long time. It's not fair. Poor women's. Poor black women's. We so educated, but we so dumb at the same time. How does that even work? How does that even work? Every decision in your life is somebody else's fault. Of course they're mad at this. Shout out to everyone else, but I'm talking to the blacks as usual. Shout out to YouTube. I'm a black woman. As a reminder, I'm just saying, come on now. Any reason to be miserable is the happiness for black women. Miserable is the new happiness for black women. If they ain't mad, they ain't happy. If they ain't going after somebody, they ain't happy. If they ain't giving somebody a hard time, they ain't happy. The K-Hive is an online community of Harris who have been known to badger Harris's critiques with online attacks. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. So anyone that criticizes 
Kamala Harris, the vice president of the United States, you have people who are ready to attack them online. That sounds healthy. That sounds like it makes sense. That sounds like more of the reparations needs to be free and required mental health care for all black women because that sounds half damn crazy. And I'm pretty sure these are the educated because why would you be so upset? You knew you had to pay your daggone student loans back. All of us do. If you didn't want to do it, don't take out the loan. Don't go to school or pay for it. How about that? There's always an option to save your money and pay for it. People have done it. They've waited, they've saved, or they went to school and they worked. They've gotten some scholarships. That's always an option. Black women, if you're so smart and you're so educated, where the scholarships at? Why y'all not getting scholarships? We see a lot of kids right now and over the years who have gotten all these scholarships. They've gotten full ride um, requests from several schools. Then they have to choose one. So clearly there's money out there for smart people. So if y'all the most educated, why y'all not getting scholarships? I'm confused. The K-Hive launched when Harris was a California senator and became prominent when she was a presidential contender. It is known for being not only protective of Harris, but also for being vicious. Well, there you go. Not a surprise. Not a surprise at all. But where was all that criticism when allegedly she was putting all these black people in jail in California, from what I understand? Because no, I'm not looking into it because I do not care at the end of the day. All right. Uh, let's see. On March 1st, Charlemagne asked political influencer Angela Rye, the principal and CEO of political advocacy from Impact Strategies about the student loan forgiveness program proposed by Biden, but has been in Supreme Court limbo since the program was legally challenged by two students who have already paid off their student loan debt. Republicans have been fighting its passage as well. So Angela Rye, another pro-black for, for the most part, who I never see out in the streets. Maybe she's someplace and I just don't know where she's at. We might need to start calling on her as well. She certainly makes a lot of time to go see Charlemagne, as does um, Amanda Seals. All the A-girls be in Charlemagne's face. Myra Brown and Alexander Tyler sued, saying they were deprived of their procedural rights by the Biden administration and they would lose out because they paid their debts. Experts say a decision from the Supreme Court may come by late June. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume I don't know who Myra Brown and Alexander Taylor are. Hold on. So here's Myra. Say hello, say hello to Myra Brown. She got a $50,000 government bailout and is now trying to stop you from getting 10,000 student loans canceled. Mm, mm, mm. They got her out here. This is on Twitter because Twitter got everything. The plaintiff in a lawsuit seeking to overturn Biden's student loan forgiveness program herself had a PPP loan forgiven worth over twice the maximum amount of debt cancelization available to student borrowers. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 I tell you, child, woo, child, child, you better watch out because the sisters ain't got time for your foolishness, all right? So it looks like this is um, Alexander Taylor. So here's a side-by-side -side of them both because uh, these are the people who sued over debt relief and allegedly he had some PPP loan forgiveness as well allegedly allegedly child they don't too child mm, mm, mm. people mad you know you white people out here trying to stop all the blacks and everyone else from getting their little ten thousand dollars while y'all went out here and got all these ppps and now you hating on everybody y'all most experts say canceling the student loan debt would benefit black students but of course who would disproportionately, who hold disproportionate high debt? Can't imagine why. Canceling 50,000 in student loan debt for households with income below 100K would increase black borrowers' wealth to 33% of white borrowers' wealth, up from 5%, according to a pathway to racial equality. Bumping it to 75,000 in forgiveness would raise it to 42%, a report from Brookings Institution found. Now, listen, I don't, listen. A lot of people have been forgiven a lot of things over the years, okay? So I honestly don't have a problem with ten to 20000 At the end of the day, though, what is the plan in order to not have this happen again? There is no plan. So basically, it's a waste of money being thrown out the window because people are taking student loans every daggone day in order to continue their education. 
So if black people are going to continue, and I'm talking about black people because I'm black, going to continue to take debt, to go to school, to get degrees that's not going to get the money that they need in order to pay off their debt and live, what is the point? There's nothing in place that's going to change any of that. And when are we going to hold the black people who are taking these loans to their responsibility to go ahead and pay off the loans that they took, that they signed for, that they agreed to, that they saw the terms for? We have to stop this. We have to stop this because we're black when we feel like it, but not when when a black person lets you know that you need to stop acting like this, because then they're going to turn around and say, who do you think you are? But when it comes to the free and getting something instead of working for something, then they all for it specifically black women. All folks are going to say in this administration just gave me more lip service. Another promise that didn't come through, Charlamagne said. When Rye challenged Charlamagne to use his platform to explain to listeners who was really behind the holdup, Charlamagne shot back. I would if it wouldn't look like I'm caping for Democrats. I will. So Charlemagne is supposed to use his platform to let everyone know. Like, not, this is not even The Breakfast Club. This is his own show. So basically what I'm hearing is, what's your solution? You're not helping. What should you be doing? Well, what is he supposed to be doing? He's asking the question, so now he got to resolve everything. Why is it that we got to resolve everything for y'all? And I'm just lumping myself in there because it's always somebody coming through talking about, you're not providing any solutions. You're not providing any solutions. And yet I am. Financial literacy is available over on the Patreon, but y'all want more stuff for free. That's the bottom damn line. You won't look in it to you for yourself. Somebody offers it to you for the for fee, but you go out here and take all this thousands and thousands of dollars in student loan debt as the smartest and then don't know how to pay it back. Then mad and blaming somebody else because you can't pay it back because you're not making enough money. Y'all got to stop this foolishness. You looking half damn crazy to anyone with some common damn sense. Caping is used to describe when someone comes to the defense of a person. Rye responded, you should look. I'm sorry, you should you should look like you're caping for people to get some kind of restorative and reparative justice. Lord have mercy. The K High went in on Charlemagne. Twitter user Raw Real, too raw too real, went as far as to call Charlemagne Kunamane. And what does that change? And and what does that do? And how does that help? And what good is that gonna be? Always telling somebody else what they should do and bringing nothing to the table for your daggone self. He tweeted, why do y'all give large platforms to people like Kunamane the goddess? Because y'all be watching and listening. It's not hard to know and understand why, but you attack whenever you don't get what you want. This is the epitome of the community to go ahead and attack the same people that they expect everything from. They want everything from for the free, mind you. They blame them for everything. They'll take them down at the end of the day and then turn around and wonder why people walk away. Then turn around and wonder why people walk away. Charlemagne ain't bothering nobody. I'm not talking about his past, okay? That's up for debate. I'm talking about right now. He over here doing his day job. Clearly, he must be doing his night job. He out here being a part of the culture. The part of the culture that the black people know inside and out, but don't know nothing about finance, money, checking, savings, credit, none of that. Hell, toss student loans up there at the end of the daggone day. But now he's saying something that you don't like because it goes against the bad administration. The bad administration. We did it, Joe. You know you can't talk negatively about someone unless the rest of the blacks agree that you can talk negatively about them. So when you go and you call Mary J. Blige auntie, then you can be upset about that. When you go and call Oprah auntie or um, Beyonce, who's 41, and Meg Thee Stallion, who's 28, and she calls her auntie, then you're allowed to be outraged and say something negative. <laughs> There's never a reason to, to ask the reason why black people have so many problems. Quick to go for the foolishness, never want to do anything that's going to actually help at the end of the daggone day. But attack your own, but then turn around and talk about white supremacy, racism, and discrimination. Then turn around and go to the oppressor when you need something, i.e. the police. But then you turn around talking about defund the police. Half damn crazy. Stay the F away from me. Charlemagne is not smart enough. I'm trying to figure out why telling the truth is caping. Stupid as hell tweeted Sam. Giving you the real. I don't know what that means, child. Y'all. 
It isn't the media's responsibility to make the Democrats' case for them. It's the Democrats' responsibility to make their own case. I agree that the media does a lousy job in general, but Democrats can't just sit back and say, well, the media sucks. What can we do? He asked. Exactly. But that would just make too much sense. All these people expecting somebody else to do something for them while they're on the same daggone expensive device coming for Charlemagne and anyone else when they don't like it, trying to take people down and out, but ain't doing no research on their daggone own. But we supposed to care, right? Wrong. Shout out to Charlemagne. I don't even know that I fully understand any of this, but uh, Kamala Harris is not above reproach for the criticism. Biden isn't. Trump isn't. None of these people are. The problem is, is that you blacks would rather attack and attack your own and then turn around and act like you're not going to go the next day and listen to Charlemagne on Dagon Radio. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.